guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Talking to Myself, the channel. I'm your host, Nick, and we're back with another video. Today, guys, we've been talking about all kind of crazy stuff this week. I thought we'd come with something a little lighthearted, something that we all can just kind of come together and realize this is some stupid-ass shit. Straight up. This is very dumb. But let's just look at it, man. Next up, we travel to one of the most exclusive neighborhoods in California, where looking good is, well, it's more important here for people to look better. Definitely. Orange County, like, getting your breasts done is basically like getting a teeth cleaning, like here. You need to get your teeth clean and some, some braces, because, god damn, look at them shits. I mean, if it's important to look good, y'all not doing the best job. Not saying y'all ugly. I'm not gonna say that, cause that's rude. God don't like ugly, but I'm gonna say, let's just keep going, guys. Let's keep going. That's how I see it. I honestly, it's like true. I swear. Adopted sisters Charm and Brittany Nicoli are living the California dream with eternal youth and plastic perfection on tap. But even by the OC standards, this pair started young. I started at 10 with my belly button, fixed my belly button from an Audi to an Innie. My first procedure was my breast oil. I just feel like with this, like, this new age plastic surgery, I just feel like to the point where it's like nobody like how they come out looking anymore. And nobody wants to work and put in the I feel like putting in the work. See how you look? Growing up, how you look just naturally builds character, changing yourself as far as like naturally, as far as working out, trying different things, builds character. But I mean, if you got the money, fix it. But man, getting getting surgery done at 10 because you don't like your belly button is kind of like, what the fuck? You know what I mean? Like, that's unnecessary. But I don't know, whatever. Right when I graduated high school, I started getting facials and face peels in high school, and then I decided to get my breasts done a month ago. Before I was 21, I just wanted to get my nose done. I think I got it done like the next day or the day after that. It was really quick because I was like, I want. If I want something, I'm like one of those people. I'm like, I have to have it now. You know. <laughs> I didn't think it's like a bunch of girls that never work or understand what work look like. Look like they're not going to try to work. Don't look like they can clean, cook, walk, run. <laughs> look like this is the best we're going to do. We're going to tan and we're going to chill. That's it. Living with daddy. Daddy got us, man. We cooling. He needed a nose job. I was against it, actually. I thought she yeah, looked beautiful job, just the way she was. Thing. But I'm obsessed with it now. <laughs> but there's one question about their new bodies that Charm and Brittany are very used to answering. Isn't it weird that your dad has seen your breasts? We weren't expecting that. We're no. No, I wasn't. I wasn't expecting. No. What the? F you know, it's just like, bro, like, what? It's like, what the hell? Hell, what? Wow. All right. He sees about a billion boobs a year, so a boob to him is like this object right here. Like it's not <laughs> anything. Like you know, pet. You know, it's not anything. It's just. So this is daughter's titties, and I find that to be weird. Like most people, this is weird. That is weird. You know, whatever, bro. Yeah, you know, this is what he does. Yup, Dad Michael is a leading cosmetic surgeon. So, did his job affect his daughter's decision to go under the knife? I'm sure it had a big influence. It's no different than the media today. When every time you turn, open up a magazine, there's a. a I just be looking at some of these parents like, man, y'all don't want to like get your daughter to like be more, more independent, but just more understanding. It just seems like. They have so many other doctors. Why go to your father? I understand because it's probably free. He could do it for free just about, you know what I'm saying, saving money. But I'm pretty sure he know other people he could probably get a discount for. Why go straight to your father? And this is in California. I know they got a, a million plastic surgeons. Man, you could send a doctor to Miami. Y'all might have a relationship there. I don't know. I'm just saying. Star that has uh, a makeup or Botox or a breast dog, it's influential. Right, wrong, or indifferent. So did mom Penny feel the same? To be honest, I didn't want them to think I was, every time something bothered them, they could be running to have surgery. 
She just wants us to be happy the way we are. And she always tells us that we're beautiful the way we are. I was worried more about what people are gonna say, like, oh my. Like, they all, like, y'all all got surgery, though. And it seemed like it hasn't been working good. They've been getting surgery since she was 10. So it's like, it shows, like, how much, like, in our society that we need to work on ourselves when it comes to this self-esteem. Just, man, not everything we're going to happen in our life is going to be perfect. There's no such thing as perfection. There's no such thing as, like, everything going according to plan. Things happen for a reason. Curve burns happen for a reason. That's the beauty and the frustration with life. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, things like shit this is going to happen. It's just like, what in the flying fuck is this though this is some crazy ass shit goodness you know their dad's a plastic surgeon and they're having all this stuff done are they gonna get addicted to it yes over the years the family has faced some negative comments about letting the girls get multiple surgeries before turning 21. i was criticized um for having a procedure at 10. definitely a lot of people thought that i was crazy for already wanting to get something done I've been doing surgery for 30 years. Nobody would treat my daughter the way I would. Nigga, you weird. I'm going to just... I don't even want to go through this whole video, but if y'all want me to, man, I would. But I'm going to just stop it right here because it just seems like we have a big pandemic of plastic surgery going on with the BBLs and all that stuff, too. And it just seems that this is unnecessary. But, guys, let me know how you feel about all this in the comments below. I'm going to see you in the next one. Peace.